Hey YouTube, this is Mobile App Reviews uh, checking out Prime V14 by Dexter underscore NLB, who is a developer at XDA um, Developers .com, uh, my favorite website for Android hacks. Um, he's been able to port another custom firmware, custom ROM from the um, ASUS forums to the Acer Arcania, it's um, the kernel is 3.1 so this this is 3.1 um, this first part of the video will be on the boot animation uh, I just now uh, flashed it so I'm about to reboot my system now uh, there's another one there's another ROM for the Acer Arcania I'll also do, be doing a video on that so check out that video too uh, don't forget to check out my channel. I have a video on how to install Clockwork Mod on your Acer Iconia um, A500. So this is the boot and animation for the Prime Custom ROM. And that's it. Um, after this is going to be the the setup screen. So setup screen is anything special. Um, This is taking too long. Um, I'm going to be right back after I do this, after I do the setup, um, the initial setup wizard and everything. So, check. So, stay okay, tuned. Um, I'm back. Uh, I've done my setup. I got it connected to my Wi-Fi. I did the time zone and everything. Um, I just, I didn't really play with it a lot. But here's a little rundown of this prompt. Um, everything is working. Uh, just a SD card mount for a certain folder that isn't working. Um, but a fix should be out really soon. Dexter should have a fix with that out really soon on the XDA page. Uh, but it's really nice. 3.1 um, is looking really good. Uh, again, this is the ASUS port of, of it. This is the ASUS version of 3.1 uh, Acer hasn't released 3.14 for the Iconia yet let me change my settings so um, one thing I don't like is is I don't like the keyboard um, let's go back to stock much much better um, the only thing good about the Asus keyboard is uh, the the number key real at the top. Um, this r right here is the ASUS Weather. Some of these are widgets that come only with the ASUS uh, tablet, which I really like. Um, also, will be the live wallpaper. The ASUS My Water Life wallpaper. I like this. This was the only thing I MVD. This and the This and the and the keyboard dock was the only thing I envied about the ASUS. Um, anyways, let's get into the Honeycomb 3.1 features. Um, first up is the browser. The browser um, has some good improvements. Uh, one improvements would be um, added HTML5 uh, advanced CSS3. Um, Flash support is a, a little bit better. I'm not saying it's the greatest. Um, and they also had add another thing called Quick Control. Uh, you go once you get this, or you go to settings and you go to labs and you um, tick it. Um, when you go back, you slide your thumb 
over either from the left or from the, the right um, it does it anywhere even down here go up here uh, basically you don't have to reach out everywhere you just slide over this is back this is forward um, refresh this is the tab view uh, matter of fact let me open another tab YouTube And you just switch between them like that, it's, which is really cool. That's a. Let me sh YouTube, Google. I really like that. Uh, that's. I think this is a really good um, added bonus to the browser. Um, this is to get out of it. This is the settings menu, and this is the bookmarks. Um, other than that, um, another thing with 3.1 is the added, I'm just opening a bunch of random apps, um, just to show you, it's the added scrolling apps list. Uh, I think it does 15 or 20, I haven't tried, um, but it does a lot more, now you can scroll through it um, in 3.0. And 3.0.1, you could only see the last five. Now you can see a lot more than the last five, about 10, 15. Uh, I don't really know. Um, in this ROM, it only comes with the stock 3.1. Um, there's another custom ROM that has added bonus Adam added apps into it. So check that out. Uh, that's another custom ROM done by another XDA developer uh, that he also that was also released today for the Acer Arcana is also a 3.1 ASUS port so check that out um the gallery where is gallery the gallery has been updated in 3.1 um, basically you could control you could connect your um, camera to the USB and it'll have it'll be able to detect it and it'll come up in the gallery um, let me see what other features are there in 3.1 um, I think that's about it so all of the features uh, I could keep up, come up with um, I have a link at the bottom in the description of all the features in 3.1 oh of course, my favorite feature I did forget is the USB host. Um, I will be doing a video of me playing uh, Nintendo 64 OID, Super Mario 64, with a PlayStation 3 controller connected to the to the USB um, use PlayStation 3 controller. So uh, check that out. Uh, what else is there? And I think that's about it. Again, um, the link to this ROM is in the bottom. Um, you do need to be um, rooted. You do need to have Clockwork Mod, which I also have a tutorial for. So check that out. And don't forget to comment, subscribe, or like. And check out my channel for app, other app reviews, tutorials, and things of that nature. So. Peace, YouTube.